What's going on, good people? It's your boy, Mr. Meyer, with the fire here to share ideas to take our collective vibration up just a little bit higher, or a lot of bit higher, man. If you get that missing link, that chain reaction, who the fuck knows how high the vibe can go when you take the light, the fire, the inspiration, and go light somebody else's candle. Nobody gets dimmer. We all get lit in the process. Happy 420, y'all, man. This is the only place. I don't want to say the only place, but I can't do this on TikTok, man. And that's not even what this is about. This is about Taurus season. So shout out to the Taurus. Shout out to my grandma. That's the only shout outs we're going to do. Regardless if you're a Taurus son or not, you have Taurus in your natal chart. Check your ascendant and you can figure out which house Taurus is in. For the rest of the month, the sun is going through Taurus, okay? Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac. It's a fixed earth sign. Venus rules this sign. Let's break down the archetype so you know what to expect, okay? So earth, you live here, right? Earth element is the visceral five senses of your body. It concerns itself with the material, with the practical things, with logic, rationality. It's a left brain element. Air is also left brain. Water and fire are right brain or intuitive. So the earth element refers to the material again. Fixed earth refers to stabilizing material, not changing material. So Taurus can be stubborn for better or for worse, okay? It's in Taurus's nature to remain the same, to be fixated on what makes sense, what's practical, what's stable, okay? And let's talk about Venus. Venus is the planet of love. It's the planet of money. It's the planet of value, right? Venus rules the second and the seventh house, Taurus Libra, right? So our value system in some way, shape or form is correlated around the things that help us preserve ourselves. The first house, this is the I am, the head. The second house is the throat, the Taurus, the house of self-preservation, your needs. So Venus in a roundabout way only appreciates things if it adds to its sense of stability, preservation or life, right? The things that fall in your second house would consist of Money, food, shelter, clothing. Probably some shape and form of entertainment as well, man. When we talk about Venus, this is not only your value system, but that'll tell you Venus correlates to your habits, okay? So Taurus is about the pleasures of the body, man. It's about the body itself. Not only does Venus rule Taurus, Earth rules Taurus. I'm talking about planet Earth, not just the metaphysical element. I'm talking about the bitch you're standing on right now, okay? So the Taurus energy, before anything, y'all, is about growth. It's about nurturing. It's about life, okay? And that's the beautiful thing about Venus, man. We can use this as an example and just forget about the two things on the end. But the circle of life on top of the cross of matter, that's what Venus is about, is growing things, right? I was about to say, fuck Saturn, man. That's what the tattoo is really about. But put a bookmark on that because we're about to talk about it. Taurus wants stability. Taurus wants growth. And that's the beautiful thing about Taurus is after the spring equinox, we end up in the season of Taurus where we can stabilize, water those seeds that we planted. You guys know April showers bring May flowers, among other things. So it's time to nurture your seeds and make sure that you are adding stability to your life, trying to be more comfortable or logical or rational in some way, shape, or form. But we want to think about Taurus's resistance to change, okay? Taurus is determined, it's stable, it's practical, it's about the facts, and it's about the logic. And it can appreciate all the things that in some way, shape, or form innately possess value. So on another note, man, Taurus is opposite from Scorpio, the fixed water sign ruled by Pluto and Mars. Uranus exalts in Scorpio. So this is going to tell you guys that Mars and Uranus do kind of struggle with the Taurus energy, okay? Mars refers to our fundamental assertions, how we aim at our goals, your passion, the root chakra, instinct. So if you have Taurus, Mars, or you just experience the Taurus energy, you'll know there is um, a detrimental effect of your comfort zone, okay? Okay. When Taurus has it, because Taurus be about having, what would you need? Why would you need to go assert and aggress and attack your goals? If you're comfortable, is there a reason to expand? Most of the time, not, okay? And a lot of you guys already know the diametric quality of 
comfort zone slash growth zone, okay? So not only does Mars fall in Taurus, it's going to tell you that sometimes Taurus doesn't know the right way to use aggression. Some Tauruses get too damn aggressive, too damn stubborn, too fixated on their values, too into what's right, telling other people what's wrong, man. A Taurus, and I say a Taurus, but I want you to remember that you are a Taurus, whether you think you are or not. I'm a damn Leo son, but I have Taurus in the eighth house. So I experience this energy through my relationships, through my desires, through investments with other people, places, and things, okay? And my magic be hella Taurus too, bro. I digress. The moon exalts in Taurus. The moon is about feelings. It's about, in a way, comfort, our security, right? Our feelings. Taurus loves to feel. And when we can feel things that correlate to the body, like music or marijuana, or good coffee and good food. Taurus be having a good time. Not just be having things, but a good time as well, man. <laughs> so, whew. Taurus loves to express feelings because Taurus adds rationality and logic to feelings. And if you're a Taurus moon, you get exactly what I'm saying. But Taurus can overdo itself in the realm of emotions. Taurus can overindulge. Taurus can do too much because it's trying to find comfort or pleasure or the sense of security in something. Let's talk about how Uranus falls in Taurus, okay? Because it exalts in Scorpio. When a planet's exalted, you want to think about this sign or house as the place the planet really wants to be. Because this location lets the planet express its function to the highest level, right? So rewind it back, y'all. Moon in Taurus, that's exalted. Moon just wants to feel and connect. It just wants to be stable and secure. Taurus is the best place to do that because it's rational, logic, and stable, okay? And in some way, shape, or form, it be having shit it needs. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's easier to feel comfortable and stable and secure in your life when your bills are paid, when you got clean clothes, and you got a nice bed, and you got a shelter. You guys see what I'm saying? But Uranus falls in Taurus. And before we break it down, think about how Uranus is in Taurus right now, man. And it's been in Taurus for a few years, and it'll remain there for a few years. So we're living in the new earth every single day, man. Every single day, we're waking up in a new earth, and we're making changes through the Taurus energy. And in a weird way, the Taurus energy for the last couple of years is the same energy that's making you feel unstable, making you feel like your individuality has to take a back seat, or you can't express yourself to the way that you want to in the fullest potential. That's what Uranus is truly about, y'all, is peeling back the layers of societal conditioning so you can find the true essence of self. When you know thyself, you can put the rest of the world in proper perspective, okay? And if you don't, you can't. So Uranus is about making the changes that we need to make. Regardless of who sees it as good or bad, fuck that shit. We got to make changes to make stability in our life. And pardon me if I repeat myself, it happens, man, but I'm saying the things that you used to do, your value system or the money, the economy, your possessions, your fucking job, the things that you've had for the last couple years or maybe even decades before, the last few years have made those same things that add stability to your life take stability away. That's Uranus and Taurus. Think about the massive shift of values we're going through on this planet. Not only would New Earth imply ecological crisis which in some way is already happening man this means we have to collectively as humans shift our values inflation has been a thing for damn ever it seems but think about how much cryptocurrency is becoming popular and normalized and kind of bubbling too but i don't want to talk about finance this video man we got a hell of time and a lot bro let's stay on taurus so Uranus doesn't really like this constellation because of the nature to resist change. And Uranus is all about change. That's why it wants to be in Scorpio. The sign of desire, the sign of transformation, the sign of evolution, right? So Taurus be like, yo, stop. <laughs> It'd be like, please, for the love of God, Uranus, slow the fuck down, man. I like the American dollar. I like cheeseburgers and shit like that <laughs> you know i like gucci louis prada 
Taurus is bougie as fuck sometimes, man. Sometimes Taurus can get lost in its value system as well, man. Because I think at this point, y'all can see that just on an archetypal level, Taurus likes to remain the same. But you need to think about how the energy of Uranus slash individuality can suffer through Taurus as well. As far as if you are too fixated on what other people tell you is right, aka a value system of some, some sort that might not even be your value system, you can let other people live your life for you, man. I said before, I will say again, if you don't know thyself, the whole world is going to try to tell you who you are and you're not going to be able to put the world in proper perspective, right? So that's the important thing to keep in mind also is that when you use firm rationality, fixed earth, you will probably see things that you need to change in your life. However, you get stuck in the crossroads of your growth zone and comfort zone. So what the fuck do you do? You have to put your feelings to the side, bear your goddamn water, and get on the Age of Aquarius shit, okay? And I'm gonna pull some cards and see what spirit needs you to know because that's basically the archetype telling you this month to do the damn thing, be persistent, be diligent, fixate your values on what makes sense for growth. Give a fuck about comfort and security. Moon, it's gonna be there anyway. The moon exalts here, man. No matter what you're going through in your life, this month, who knows what house you got, Taurus. In this month, you'll be adding to your stability. You'll be working on fixating your logic, right? Don't worry about the place where it's exalted. I don't even like the word worry, but pay attention to where the fall is because you might fall short in the fall. Let's work with Uranus and Mars this month, okay? Let's make sure we have proper goals, Let's make sure that we're truly being ourself. Easier said than done. But why the fuck not? Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, damn, that's a whole lot, man. Picture's worth a thousand words. We got one, two, three, four, five, like that six, seven thousand words. Damn. So you got the ace or the damn. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't smoke in my videos. But we got the ten of wands, right? So you got to bear the cross, bear the load, carry the weight do the work, etc. That ain't nothing new, man. Taurus season, two of pentacles. This is saying to me that as we're making changes, this is a really great time, man. Even though Taurus wants to be stabilized, you can find comfort and security making the changes. And because the way the sun is in Taurus, you'll be seeing the world in a more logical way. So when things are moving around in your life in any way, shape and form, temperance card right after it, if you have faith, you'll be in this energy. If you don't have faith, you'll be in that energy, okay? And faith is a principle, pretty simple. I hope you guys understand. I'm not telling you to be religious. I'm telling you to believe that everything you experience is for your best and highest good. Even when shit is hitting the fan and your life feels like it's getting fucked up and the tower has been struck, right? Let's talk about Uranus. When you go through the fucking tower card, just have faith and then you will be dancing in the rain rather than feeling like you're getting soaked like fuck my clothes are clinging to my skin I don't like that feeling you know it's your attitude is the one thing you can manage you can manage your work ethic and your attitude there's two things you manage so I could I lied to you a second ago but you can manage two things I'm gonna say again your work ethic and your attitude okay and they kind of help each other right so I'm telling you guys like you can manage your fucking attitude. So to some people, damn, I hate the way my fucking wet shirt clings to my body. Some people say, fuck, I love dancing in the rain. What are you going to create through your words? What energy are you going to reverberate out? It's your choice. Does it make a damn difference? Actually, it does make a damn difference to me. I was going to say, I don't care. But at the same time, man, if we're the universe and you're me and I'm you, the energy you put out does affect me. So please, for the love of God, be nice to yourself. God damn it. <laughs> but I want to say also on that note, another example. If you're not getting it already, bro, I'm telling you, your attitude is everything. Your attitude is everything. When some people connect to the energy of Uranus for the first time or Chiron strikes, they feel like, what the fuck? Hit that spiritual awakening, that cosmic apotheosis, but it don't really feel that way. And you're like, damn, I feel like, I'm an alien. Who the fuck am I? 
I don't recognize myself anymore. What the fuck am I supposed to do on this planet? Who are these people? Do they know what's going on? Sometimes you can feel so alienated on this planet by using your individuality, but you need to keep in mind the same energy is freedom. Let that sink in, man. You get to choose if you want to be lonely and isolated or free. You get to choose. I'm telling you. I promise you, dude. Oh, deep in my soul, I'll tell you the truth, bro. Seriously. So on top of that, you are going to have to do some surrendering to the divine, to your higher motherfucking self. I'm not telling you guys to be religious, right? Because language can be a limited tool. We must learn to be intentional with the words we speak. The double-edged sword can cut a motherfucker. And your love can become evil and things of that nature, right? So I'm telling you guys, just please remember that there's a world out here, right? If everything's energy, we're all the same being in a weird way, right? And on top of that, as above, so below. Same way there's will down here. We're talking about Mars now, right? Don't fall short in Mars. So listen, please. Your will connects you to the will of the universe. It connects you to the higher will. Please, for the love of God, know that there's a difference. And that your will is going to have to selectively filter out, you know, your choices and what it's directed towards. Learn how to direct your energy. Be appropriate with your energy. Mars connects you to Pluto. So this is going to tell you if Pluto rules Scorpio, Pluto also is in detriment in Taurus. So think about that shit as well, man. And think about how you live on Earth, you're living on Tartarus, and we kind of struggle by default making change here. You guys understand what I'm saying? Like, give a damn about the Uranus effects. Earth just struggles to make change. And you want to know why, bro? Because this is the plane of elemental Earth. You come here on this planet to learn how to work with energy, how to manifest. You need all four elements to manifest anything, to create spirit, to create anything in any realm. However, we experience the transition of these things here. And you can experience the earth element, which densifies. And I want you guys to know, like if I hope it's clicking, but the earth element exists in every other plane, okay? Anywhere else you go, I promise, bro, principles i promise you anywhere else you fucking go in the universe the earth element exists within everything but there's a lot of realms that don't act anything like this because the proportions of earth element are so different here you see what i'm saying like bro you can take your imagination and experience it this bro this shit didn't exist before a person boom and then willed it the fuck in you know what I mean? Ooh, so we got to make transformation. And we got to connect to the higher will of God, right? <laughs> How do you connect to that? Queen of Cups, willfully, water of water, feel your feelings. You got to balance it with the water element. If you looked at the planet from like afar or look at the earth emoji, you don't even got to look at it too far. It's like blue and green, right? Balance, man. Ooh, so there's a lot of bad energy out here, y'all. Like, that's just the truth. Just being honest. The earth is kind of depressed right now. Depression is deep rest. So, as above, so below. Feel the feeling of peace in yourself so we can create peace on earth. A lot of us are fucking up with the Mars energy. South node in Scorpio. North node in Taurus. Right goddamn now. Basically saying, dude, I know there's probably a lot of pain in your heart. I know there's probably a lot of grief in your heart. I know there's probably a lot of trauma in your soul. Me fucking too, man. So let's go the fuck outside. Maybe if we're ready to dance in the rain or maybe we can wait for it to clear up. Let's hug a tree. Let's breathe a little more. I would say medicate, seek therapy. Your boy's already doing it. Therapy's cool. But I want to say also, man... We're doing this for the novelty today because it is sort of a holiday. But this also gives me a reason to say something really important. And Spirit wants me to tell y'all that I can say from experience, a lot of people use marijuana as medicine, okay? It can be 
healing on a physical, emotional, and mental level. However, you need to understand that the lungs process grief, okay? The lungs are right next to your heart chakra. So some of us like to smoke because we don't like to deal with our grief, okay? And it's really as simple as that. So I just want you to maybe ask yourself some more questions. Are you avoiding processing grief? And it's a process, dude. Grief is not easy. It actually has like a whole procedure of steps. So take your time and be nice and gentle to yourself as you're letting out the pain of the whole entire fucking world, man. On that note, I know my Leo Mercury can sometimes talk in a non-linear cycle, but now that we're back to this energy, I want you guys to know that you have your own cross to bear. You have your own duties and responsibilities in pain and suffering. Pain is hard in this realm, bro. It's earth, okay? Element. It's slow. It's dense. So not only is the joy and the happiness intense and pleasurable, so is the pain and the suffering. You signed up for this because of that, okay? Remember. So as you're dealing with your problems, other people's problems, I want you to also realize that because... The earth is a living, sentient being with its own problems and trauma and organs and things of that nature. You inherited earth trauma as well. Everybody actually has it. Everybody actually has it. You got to think about the baseline vibration that we're living in. Uranus raises the vibration of anything it touches, okay? So with Uranus going through Taurus, the earth is raising in frequency. By default, you're going to have to purge, period. So I want y'all to think about the fact that the etheric body of the planet we live on is cleansing, okay? As above, so below. You get me? Go within. Don't seek yourself without. I love y'all. This is cause to celebrate. There is a lot more work to do. So let's make sure our celebration isn't too long and drawn out and hedonistic and pleasure oriented and destructive, man. Because we got to use this Taurus energy to have values appropriate to the growth that our fucking planet needs for peace on earth, man. I love y'all. It's your boy, Mr. Meyer with the fire here to share ideas, take our vibe higher. Do the things. I love y'all.